This movie went against the patriarchy. This movie was representation of powerful women that we needed. This movie is visual noise and was bombastic. This is the reason why comic book movies are killing the art form of cinema. This movie went against the male species. I'm tired of the woke agenda. If anyone is going to have sex with my sister, it's going to be me. I don't have a hyena named Bruce, but I do have a pug named Audrey. Just go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live life golden. Yeah, we'll go then, baby, yeah, we'll go then. They're about to see it shine, cause we'll go then. Welcome everybody, I'm RJ of the Nerdy Brewing here in this channel. We talk TV, movies, and everything in between, all while drinking a cup of coffee. And if you like one of those things, or all of those things, why don't you consider like, subscribing, and becoming a fellow Brewster. And here, here on this episode, we are discussing Birds of Prey, the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn, starring Margot Robbie, Rosie Perez, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Journey Small, <laughs> Journey Smollett Bell, Ewan McGregor, Ella J. Boschow, and Chris Mancina. So the premise of the movie is Harley Quinn splits up from the Joker. She has left a bad taste between the Gotham PD and also the criminal underworld from all her antics and action, disrespectful situations that she got put in with the Joker. So, without the Joker's protection anymore, all of those people are after her. She looks for safety. She uh, runs into Ella Boscow's character, Cassandra Kane, who happens to be a pickpocket who stole a diamond from Black Mask, and he uses all his resources and people to try to get it from this little girl, but they end up forming a bond, and the Birds of Prey are trying to also stop Black Mask, played by Ewan McGregor, and save the girl as well. And that's pretty much the premise of the movie. So, uh, I gotta make this quick due to memory space. I was honestly going to try to make a fake review, plagiarize, and cheat while taking bits and pieces of other people's reviews, like their thoughts, and try to make one. But I had to see it for myself and be authentic to whoever sees this video because honestly there are people who loved it for the SJW uh, reasons which is social justice you know uh, narrative that they tried to spin upon this movie there are people who hated it because they wanted to find SJW situations or there are people that were there were people that were just against the movie uh, for cinematic reasons <clears throat> and or comic book nerds who didn't like it because certain liberties out of all the reviews that I've seen and I just didn't like the movie and there were certain things in the movie the movie was good in the beginning it was very engaging it was very colorful it was fast-paced it started off with the prologue with a animation a cartoon of her narrating and she narrates throughout the whole movie about why uh, she broke up or why she got broken hearted and then it's like boom I'm broken hearted I have a self-destructive binge of depression because the Joker broke my heart and this is who I am but one thing that is the icing on the cake that destroys her spirit is the bodega egg sandwich that I wanted to eat so bad it looked delicious and then it fell uh, and she was just like nothing goes right for me because that was the only thing that she wanted and I wanted it to it looks so delicious um, but in the second half of the movie it drags it's a lot of exposition and then there's her grocery shopping and then there's her chilling and that blew my mind I was waiting for the movie to be over so but the third act 
was the climactic battle between the good guys and the bad guys. The good guys protagonists, I should say, were the Birds of Prey and against Black Mask and his forces. And my thing is this, there's a, the final fight, one of the final fights, there's two, and it was very visual and, and, and cinematic and choreographed and very visual to look at. It was great to watch when it came to that final fight scene. My thing is this, these dudes who are a bunch of gangsters come in and it's a fist fight. Like it's, it's really fisticuffs. Weapons, fists, kicks, punches, which bothered me because I'm like, yo, like they didn't have any guns, Harley Quinn in them, but it was like, I guess they couldn't do that because the movie would have been over. But that was just very, it was very anticlimactic. Um, the music was misplaced in certain scenes that didn't carry the tone. It was just out of place, kind of like Captain Marvel. Um, there was one Suicide Squad reference um, and it comes back around. And it's an Easter egg and you gotta look for it. Black Mask was cartoonish and it seemed like the only visual representation that Ewan McGregor took in for the media of Black Mask was under the red hood. Here's the Black Mask, the first boss to gain control of the entire city in 20 years. Whatever he wants in Gotham, he gets. But his uh, appearance takes a bit to warm up to. He did what? What? Oh, good. He's pissed. What he's calling himself. Do you idiots know how many bitters I had on Amazo? A list of puppet dictators and psychos as long as my arm. Millions shot right to hell. And whose money is that? Your money. My money! Mine! And you give me back trouble. Who blows the damn robot's head off? I could have at least sold it for scrap, but Batman kept it. Yes. Look, this circus act, this Red Foot. Red Hood. Whatever. He's dead. Take care of it. You. New guy. Sir. Don't be nervous, kid. But if you keep staring at me like that, I'm gonna cut your eyes out. For me, Black Mask is one of my favorite comic book villains. He's actually the boss of bosses, Dons of Dons, and that's what makes him so formidable against Batman. Uh, another thing, Journey S Judy Small Yay <laughs> was uh, she sang a rendition of It's a Man's World, so I don't know if it was her voice or if it was dubbed, but I enjoyed that very much to have me intrigued about who she was as a character. It was just a wonderful performance in the way she sung that song. Rosie Perez. So I loved Rosie Perez since Do the Right Thing and Ice Cube and not Ice Cube from Friday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, she read it. She wore a red bustier that was v -v 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 vivacious, baby. She looked great. I love Rosie Perez. Well, she played Rosie Perez, you know, from Brooklyn, you know, Gotham City PD. I'm Rosie Perez. That is a horrible Rosie Perez impression. I will not do that again. Um, the story jumps in and out of her mind. It's like a one big Family Guy reference where she says, hey, we here at this moment. Oh, let me backtrack and tell you about this moment so you can understand why we're here now. One thing that I did like that she does do psychoanalyzation and psychobabble from her history of being a former psychologist and or therapist or whatever, you know, psychological field that she was in. They're able to highlight that at particular moments to um, just show that, yes, she did lose her mind, but she's still an educated person. Overall, that, that's pretty much the review of the movie, what I liked and what I didn't like about it. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't I didn't like the movie. Um, I was supposed to see it Thursday night, but things happened 
where I wasn't able to, so I saw it the other night, and I was really just waiting for the movie to end. Um, people were calling it the John Wick of the DCEU. Nah, don't disrespect John Wick's name like that. John Wick is John Wick of his own John Wick universe. He doesn't need to be attached to that you know degraded of a mess of what that movie was because i didn't like it yeah there was a scene where there was accidental purposeful cocaine sniff that was amazing to watch it was and the one thing that was majorly absent was batman and the joker um i wasn't understanding why they weren't in the movie because it seemed like black mask needed a villain which would have been the joker and it seemed like Batman would have been involved if there is, you know, this uh, disruption going on within the city uh, and trying to save a little girl who needed to be saved. And I don't understand why Batman wouldn't be involved in that. Things, and I can go on and on, but as I said, it was from memory space and people don't have big attention spans to be honest and and i haven't grown my youtube channel enough for people to just yell you know what i'm gonna sit and watch this guy but um i can really just keep going on about why i didn't like this movie um but with that being said did you see this movie did you like this movie you didn't like this movie is there a social justice agenda did you see it in this movie or didn't or didn't you um, I'm going to bring this video to an end and I want you to be you, do you, see the bigger picture, have a fantastic day because you deserve it. This is that channel. Peace.